another, another unprepared life. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh, shoot. We're live. All right. Oh, what is oh. going on, people? We're currently in pre-show mode right now. And for those of you guys who are watching after the fact, that means this is not live anymore. Check the description box below for the time codes for the topics that we'll be talking about during the show. <laughs> All right. Which, which there are many. Which there are many. <laughs> What's going on? Young Hill Vlogs. What's up? Chris Die, Chris Cheek, Snappy Katzmanston. Where's this dude at? We're right here. Dave Sincere. What's going on? Son John DG Yo. Tag shooter. <laughs> Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Chris Featherstone, Dustin Noworth. <laughs> awesome. Chris, Chris Featherstone says, I was just watching your new lens 100 400 and saw this. Do you mean Jason Vong? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I was like, are you sure you're not mistaking, mistaking us? Yet? <laughs> I think, I think every, every Monday, every Monday video we've ever made, I, I think there's at least one comment that says, wait a minute. They're two different guys. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen that, Jason. It must just be your really? channel. I, I just feel like every time, like I look in the comments, it's just like, whoa! I never knew those, those were two different dudes. Ah, <laughs> uh, never happened, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just feel like that's why it always happens on my channel. Let's see, Victor Colin, what is up? Daniel says, "Will we ever see a Monday live with Frank to Tank? I would love to have Frank the Tank." Frank is a uh, head of Zuyun, I, I guess. Oh, oh that'd yeah. be cool. They could hook me up with yeah. some for my students, and uh, I could, I could spon get them sponsored. Uh. Smooth, <laughs> smooth key for every student. Smooth key for every student. There, there you go. Have them all vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Chris says, ah, now I know the difference. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, we're two different people. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Phase Jalal says, I thought the A7 III was a myth. The A7S3 or the A7 III? Oh, yeah, the A7 III. They're all myth, myth, mythical creatures. By the way, guys, we're still in pre show mode. We're going to start the show at 7 p.m. So, in about eight minutes. Yep. All right. Um, Alex Boy says, What's up? I'll start us off. Danny, looks like you have that potato tonight. I don't. Yes. I don't know if you. I don't know if you saw my the title to this video, but I, I added like a little potato emoji. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> I was like pricing up the title. I was like, oh, I'll put in. I'll put in potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Tag the shooter. I'm still trying to figure out which one of you. <laughs> Who's who? Chris uh, says, uh, are you guys going to be live next Monday from Vegas at WPPI? Yes, we are planning on it. If we do come on a little late, it's because uh, we might have some technical difficulties at the hotel and hotel internets are she crap. It's okay. I've got my jetpack here, which will provide us potato quality. We should be perfectly fine. So, Oh, thank goodness. Okay, please bring that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be potato quality still, but at least hey, it's better than the <laughs> room Wi-Fi. There you go. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, see here. John Lu says, uh, "Shin and Kwai Le, Happy New Year! Well, happy New Year to you too." Oh, whoa, 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 Jason, relax, man. We just, I'm, I'm, you know, just no idea what that says. <laughs> Don't worry, Danny. Just, just means. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, Chinese New Year just happened. Mm. I'm sure. I'm sure half your class disappeared. Wait, unless there's no <laughs> Asians in your area. I, I'm I'm primarily the only one. Um. <laughs> and you don't celebrate. There's no. You guys don't celebrate Lunar New Year, right? No, no. no. I'm not very much Chinese. <laughs> I think Lunar. Oh, I mean, like you know, I was surprised that um Koreans celebrate the the, the Lunar New Year too, considering. Hmm. I thought I thought it's only like Chinese people, but Koreans they celebrate. Japanese people they don't celebrate Lunar New Year. Let's 
see. Chris Cheek says, uh, you guys, you can tell the difference because Jason always wore the same plaid shirt. What? Technically, <laughs> I, have, I have two of these shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Potato Jet. Uh, Tag's asking, do you have to pay a year fee to go to WPPI? You don't have to pay, right? You can go in, You can go into just the lobbies, the, the convention part, just for free, uh, right? Yeah. Well, if you if you get your ticket in time, there's a, there's a period where you can get the ticket for free or you enter a promo code, yeah. you get it for free, and then if you don't, after a certain amount of time, like the show, the show gets closer, obviously, Price, you're gonna have to pay like 15 bucks or something i i joined the membership which was a stupid idea well it's fine though what what yeah. oh well just pay for just pay for me you know and i'll i'll tell you all the secrets <laughs> uh let's see um There's a lot of comments going on right now. And guys, uh, for those of you who are just joining us, we are starting the live show at 7 p.m. and likely we'll tackle the topic of the title of this video, like around 7.20 or so-ish. We're going to start off with new gear, kicking things off with new gear. And um, yeah, let's see. I feel free to stick around, have a chat. Um, uh, Chris died. Jason, did you go to the Chinese New Year parade in LA last Saturday? I did not. <laughs> They're like, we spotted you there. <laughs> I feel like I'm the least Chinese Chinese person. I don't, <laughs> I don't celebrate Chinese New Year. I mean, I, my, my, my family does, but I'm just like, I should go to the temple. I get, I get my hair cut from my barber and he's like, you going to the temple today? I was like, no, nah, not really. Too many people. What's a good site to get cool alpha gear? Oh, I'm talking about swag, I'm assuming. Yeah, what was that? You got to go to those events, James, if you're trying to get like swag, uh, hats, shirts, um, bags, all that good stuff. Yes. I think you have to buy stuff now and then you get the free swag. Mm. Ever since I started publicizing free swag, they're just like, yeah, you're going to have to buy a camera now to get a hat. You ruined it for everybody, Jason. <laughs> Thank you. You ruined it for everybody. They even made Matt. you do that little spinning wheel at, at, at over there um, to win oh, something. Yeah. Spinning wheel. I got like alpha gloves, alpha shirt, alpha hat. Um, but I, I really like this hat because this one doesn't have that mesh in the back that we ha we got. And um, this is helpful because I don't have to do my hair every time. <laughs> Matt says, "Hey, that other guy is Sydney." Nah, just kidding. Ooh. Oh well. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy's just not having it. <laughs> not having it. It's all good, man. How's that Q nap doing, man? I really want to get the Thunderbolt Q nap, man. Get it. I got. Oh um, wait. wait. Q naps. I mean, other, other than storage, the QNAP is great, but I don't really use any of the other stuff that comes with the QNAP. You know what? Wait, you know, you hey, know Q, Q, yeah, what? QNAP might be there, right? At WPPI? Oh, maybe. Um, but, oh, no, no. Uh, last time oh. I went, I didn't, I didn't see Drobo or, or QNAP or anything like that, so... I could be wrong, you know. Maybe I know <laughs> the right parts of the convention, but I don't recall seeing them. I mean, it's great storage solutions, man. I just yeah, get me a trial unit or something. <laughs> we got a special cameo appearance in the chat. YC Imaging, what is up? Whoa, what's up, man? <laughs> where where are we? Where are we? What we haven't even gotten started yet. We we have gone literally no nowhere. <laughs> About one minute before the live show starts, we've just been shooting the crap. As we always do. As we always do. This is fun. This is fun. Good stuff. It's where we can relax. And then when it's 7 o'clock, we have to be like straight-faced. Um, see. 
I, I don't know. I, I saw some other comment I wanted to read, but I don't know. Did you see Black Panther yet, Danny? No, I haven't seen it. Have you? I have I have not yet. I'm trying to wait till the hype dies down. So when I go watch it, my expectation is not like up here off the route. <laughs> <laughs> trying to like wait till it settles back down. Because usually, you know how like you, you you hear from people like, oh, man, this movie is terrible. And then you're just like trying to avoid it. And then once you let the, let like the expectation disappear, like you go watch, it, you're like, yeah, that's not too bad. Like yeah. Justice League or Batman versus Superman. Like my expectation was just not there for it. And when I watched it, I was like, you know what? It, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I just I just watched the movie just for entertainment. I don't try to overthink it too much sometimes, but yeah. Uh, for me i want to enjoy it like i don't want to walk in i, I want to walk in and be blown instead of like oh my god this is really good i i'm expecting it to be very good and you start formulating like what it, like what, what would make it so good and when you watch you get a little disappointed but yeah it's just me anyways all right it is seven o'clock guys welcome back to another monday night live or if you're seeing is my oh there you go am i back Yes. What happened there? The audio is going out. I don't oh know. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. As I was saying, uh, welcome back <laughs> to another Monday Night Live. Uh, if videos, if video looks pixely and the mic keeps cutting out, well, then it's it's Potato Live today. So <laughs> um, today, this week's on my channel. Um, next week's going to be on Danny's channel. And today we're going to be talking about um, rumors of the Sony A7 III. Uh, Sony Alpha Rumors uh, dropped a SR5, which is like a highest rank of um, possibility of this camera getting announced. So we might see something on February 26th, and we definitely will be talking about that, as well as grabbing your guys' opinion on the camera. We'll be talking about the, uh, what is it, the groundbreaking backlit CMOS sensor with global shutter that Sony just created, which is creating a lot of buzz all over the photography and videography site. And if we have time, we're going to cover the Zeiss Loxia 25 2.4, and we'll do Q&A towards the last 15 minutes of the show. So as always, uh, we like to start off the show with hashtag new gears. So let us know what new piece of gear you picked up over the last week. Doesn't have to be camera gear. It could be anything. Could be a potato. <laughs> could be a potato. Yeah, I just spit on my mic. Uh, Danny, what is what what is something that you just picked up that you just released the video on, like an hour before this? <laughs> yeah, it was, I'm dying uh, to know. A few people are already said that you've ruined you ruined new gear uh, <laughs> after I posted the video. Um, yeah, but the lens just waited. Could have waited yeah. until after. I'm just kidding. I could, I could have, but I kind of wanted to get that yeah, that too, video rolling. You were too excited for it. I, I can understand. Too excited. Um, so if you've been following the live shows, we've been talking about getting. Uh, for me personally, picking up a new lens, and it's been the Sony 100 to 400 G Master that's been kind of on my radar for a while now. So I just it just came in today uh, from B and H Photo. And I did put a video out as far as the unboxing and a little reason as to why I went ahead and picked up this lens to begin with. It was actually a pretty tough call uh, because I already have the 7200 G Master and I've got the, um, well, whoa, these two teleconverters here. But I really enjoyed the 100 to 400 when I went and used it. When I got a loaner unit from Sony, I really enjoyed the image quality that came from it uh, using that versus using teleconverters in the 7200. So, um, definitely went and grabbed it for spring sports that are coming around and, um, very excited to have a copy and use it. Yeah. It's only 100, 400. <laughs> <laughs> How much did it cost you? Oh, one dollar. No, I'm kidding. Uh, retail what price. Dollar? <laughs> did you get it from? Wait, what, what'd you say, Jason? I can't hear. Oh, why does my mic keep getting cut out? That's weird. I, have, I, have, I have no idea. No, I, was, um, I, was, I was asking, where, where did you get it? A b and H photo. b and H photo, it included, um, with the retail price, it came with an ND filter. So I just went and grabbed that copy. I was hoping there'd be like another discount, but there wasn't. Um, but I just wanted to have this lens. It, it kind of, um, I was, because I was debating between a 2470 G Master um, as well. 
And I was like, well, I have like a 35 of 2.8. I, I should be okay. So I just went and pulled trigger on the 100 to 400. Now I think I have every zoom lens from Sony, like the telephoto stuff. So I have the 100 to 400. I have the 70 to 200. I've got the 70 to 300 G series. I have the 70 to 200 F4 and I have the 55 to 210. Yeah. So just, um, just, <laughs> just why? I know it's a I mean, good are question. You, are you going to sell the F4? Am I going to sell it? Probably not. Probably not. Um, I use I use the lenses for different things when I'm filming. I might need another set. I might need a 7200 for something. Oh uh, F4. Or <laughs> my brother is using Sony. My brother uses Sony stuff now. So having an F4 or he usually just grabs a lens from me if he needs to use it or something. So. All right. So the next lens that you were going to get is the 400 2.8, right? That's the one that is no. <laughs> I'm for sure going to try to get a loner first. Um, but no, I think the next lens I was thinking about was the 16 to 35 F4 potentially. Maybe 16 to 35 F4. I thought you had that one. No, I just, I had a loner unit from, from Sony. That's all I ended up getting. Oh. So, but yeah. Awesome. Well, as for me, nothing exciting like Danny. I should have went first. This is, that's, <laughs> that's like that's like trying to like top what you got i i didn't get anything interesting that's like that's like someone else going after like it's like the olympics ice skating someone just goes after like the the, the guy who scored the highest but anyways um I, I not like danny didn't drop didn't drop a couple grand on anything i did pick up a couple of nd filters for my lenses uh got a 49 millimeter and a 67 and 67 millimeter uh variable nd filter and I uh, just picked these up just to get some better slow mos because uh, we're shooting in broad daylight, um, and we don't we definitely don't want the run to shutter for slow motion. So I picked those up, and um, I used to get like step up rings to like get my smaller lenses to fit the seventy seven millimeter variable ND filter that I got. But I figured if I get the same size as the lenses that I'm using. Um, it just, it just bounced better on the gimbal. So that's why I picked up a 49 for my 55 millimeter lens and the 67 millimeter for my Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. What's the brand? Uh, the 49 is the K and F concept brand. Okay. Yeah. I, which I don't think it's all that great, but, um, 67 millimeter is from Tiffin and I, and I like Tiffin a lot, but I'm pretty bummed that they don't have a variable ND filter for the 49 millimeter i think like it, it literally stops like one level after the 49 so have to just, I'm, I'm like stuck using like a weird name brand nd filter i just get the cheapest one around man that's like whatever's available <laughs> no dude i was i think i used like um josh from momentum production he had he had like knf concept whatever nd filters i slapped the moment i slapped it on i i noticed a huge green tint over the footage and it looked awful and i was like what is this this is this is bad and he was like oh i just got a cheap one i was like <laughs> i would never get cheap filters ever again <laughs> awesome and uh, Alex Sandova just dropped ten dollars i'd rather donate money instead of buying new gear because it's cheaper well, thank you alex I know Alex was actually uh, wondering about the 100 or 400. He messaged me and um, he was asking me about it. And I was like, hey, man, I got one coming in soon. So we'll see <laughs> and do an extensive review on it, shooting some stuff. Um, I'm excited, yeah. man. I'm excited it's for your sports photos to come back. Yeah, you know, it was just something I kept thinking about. Uh, and that's the reason why it just hasn't I haven't been really making videos. It's just because I just want to to take pictures and not worry about the review aspect of things and just kind of get yeah. back to doing what I normally do. Um, and the, the videos will happen eventually. It's just, I just want to go out there and shoot and just, just use the gear and just enjoy the, the aspect of it. It's all about sharing. Everything's always about share, 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 share. You got to share what you're doing all the time. And it's just constant, this constant thing you got to do. And it's just, I don't know, just, just something that crossed my mind. Yeah, just excuses for me. I'm like trying to tick on like jobs and just like just go out and shoot just go out and just shoot with others instead of just 
shoot by myself and shoot YouTube videos. I think it gives us a better perspective on things. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's see here. Um, let's jump into the chat and read off some new gear. Um, I will start us off first. So let's see, Rai Uemura says, new gear RRS base plate for the A7R3. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Spooky Lou, Manfrotto MT055X Pro 3. I have a, I don't know I, what that I is. I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's a tripod, and I think I might have that same model. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Devon, uh, Devon, Devon, Ron, New Gear 2X Rote Link Wireless Kit and an H40, uh, H40, H4N, <laughs> H2O Pro. <laughs> what was the Very difference nice. between, because I had the Zoom H4N, like what did the Pro model end up giving you that the other one didn't have because i was looking at it but it's um i i forgot i i feel like it didn't offer huge improvements over the last one so i never bothered picking it up so i was actually looking because the H5 or because, six. right you would look at the zoom h5 or h6 why would you look at the zoom h4 and pro i don't know Devin. just let us know like what what made you want to pick that up instead? I'm just curious. Well, the H4N was like the most popular recorder yeah. from from Zoom, so it, it's understandable that they want to give an updated version. But yeah, all right. AJ, New Gear Sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4. Yes, I think a few people have said that lens is beast. <laughs> John. Codero says, Peak Design Sling Bag. Hashtag New Gear. Awesome. YC Imaging just copped the 24mm F1.4L. Nice. Ooh, that's sick. Let's see here. Um, George, or Jorge Leon, says, just got Sony 1018 for my 6500. Very nice. Love that lens. My all-time favorite uh, lens there. James Deke, New Gear, Sigma 35 1.4. Very, very nice. Hopefully there's no FE version that comes out soon, but yeah. <laughs> Av McRee, Panasonic G9, sold out at PH the first week. I am sad. Oh. I know that for you. Top, I know that for you. Top Tech Talk got the Sony 28mm F2. Um, LaDonna Davis, New Gear. Flashpoint R2 Pro for Sony. Tag the shooter, new gear, the new Flashpoint 8600 Pro strobe, and congrats on joining the 100 to 400 club. <laughs> yeah. I blame you, you guys, just, man. That's reason, you. That was the reason why I got it, because everyone kept egging me on. They were like, just get it, Danny, just get it. And then they were like, yeah, the 1.4X goes great with it. And dang. We are, uh, we are your support group. We are everybody's support group. You know, they come to us. I think about getting this. We just say, get it. There's, uh, I held like it, just return long, it. Long as I could, man. Um, and then the 400 2.8 comes out. It's like five grand. I'm like, oh, so, no, nah, that's not going to happen. But. YC Imaging says, you're, you're equipped for full-fledged stock now. <laughs> Paparazzi, uh, I think you should take some pictures and sell it to People Magazine and make like $3 million. Yeah, they did say that I don't have the 24 to 240. Yes, that is true. I am not getting that unless it's like dirt cheap. So there you go. John Lou Imperial, new gear, peak design, uh, slides, leash. I was going to say slash, slide light. Waiting on Sam Yang uh, base station that I had ordered from the UK since it's now available in the US and Canada. Hoping it arrives this week. Very cool. Are you Shresta? Sigma 18 and 35 f1.8, and that's all I have with the MC11. It's not a bad lens. Doug Baker, new gear, Comica, CVM, VW, dual loft, single receiver, <laughs> wireless kit. Very I nice. hope it's working out for you. Hopefully that's a, a good kit. Um, tag the shooters like... Uh, when I said 16 to 35 f4, do you mean getting the 16 to 35 f2.8? So don't yes. tell me, man. No, I mean, that was that was my thinking too. Uh, I was like, you're talking about the 2.8, right? <laughs> the thing is, with my EDU discount, it's 1900, it's about 1900. So, 
Look at that. Let's still, look at what you discover. EDU that's, discount. That's still a lot of money. I'll wait. That's true. That's I'm, Noe Hernandez. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I'm 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 eyeing the sixteen to thirty five two point eight. Just get it, man. Just sell that bodice one thirty five f two point eight. It's a good lens. <laughs> <laughs> I love the lens very much. No regrets here. Oh, of course, man. So this is what we all say at night. <laughs> Sony G series 18105 F4, Sony Zeiss 50mm M.4, and the Sony 28mm F2. No NSA. Simple guys tech. Simple guys tech talk. KNF makes great uh, good tripods. That's it. <laughs> Chris Featherstone. I just I just got the A7R3, the 1635 G Master, 2470 G Master, 85 G Master, 7200 G Master, Zeiss Bodice. I don't know which one, but the F2. An SLR Magic 35. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. I'm out of here. Yes. I am. I'm out of here. <laughs> you win. You win, Chris. Makes me jealous that every time I go on Facebook groups and I see like people's take pictures of their boxes and they're just like mountain. And I'm just like, man, I can't fathom dropping so much money at once. I mean, like already getting like a $3,000 camera is just like, Ugh, but then like have like a a7 r3 70 a 200 24 70 and 1635 all piled up i'm just like oh it's a sweet sweet lenses man zoom sweet. chris what's up man <laughs> let's see uh jai pandy b bw makes some really nice nds and also some very expensive ones too Sergio Gonzalez, A7R2, 25mm F2 bodice, 50mm F2 Loxia, and an 85mm F1.8 Sony. Sweet. Wait, which which Loxia? 50? Okay, I thought it was 50. 25. Oh. All right. We're going to go over a few more new gear, and we're going to jump into the news topic of today. And there, there's a lot of new gear, actually, so we'll try to get through as many as we can. Let's see here. Sergio, you already said that. Uh, Nathan Valley, new gear, A7R3, baby. Dude, has anyone tried out the HLGBT 2020 profiles on the A7R3? Very noisy. You got to overexpose. Oh, the hybrid log gamma. Yeah, hybrid log gamma. I, you know, I, I hear a lot of good things about it. And um, if you're shooting for like television, for like specifically with people who have HDR TV, it's going to look freaking sweet. You don't have to like grade or anything. Nice. But Pat Adolfo, yeah. new gear, Codex T Max 400. And then Devon, uh, Devin updated and said there's better preamps in the H4N Pro. Okay, that's good. That's good. The preamps okay. are not that awesome. better than the original. Does it have rechargeable or like th does it still take AA batteries or can you recharge them from the inside? That'd be that'd be my that'd be what would push me to get the Pro. Um, I got some, we got some questions going on. We're going to do Q&A towards the half, the, the ending of the show. Um, Auker, Auker Minwin. New gear, Zeiss 50, 1.4, added to my 35 and 85. Nice. Just keep Solid going, Chase. Just, just keep just going. See, okay, all right. You just, okay. Nathan says, new gear, oh, and allow a 15.0.0D. <laughs> nice. Noel Hernandez is Zeiss 50 1.4, Sony 18 and 105, and Sony 28F2. Um, lost where I am. Uh, K H E C H T 2 says, I have the 7300G uh, G series with my A7R3. Debating doing a Safari, should I sell it and get the 100 400 GM with the teleconverter? This lens has served me well. Not sure if I really need the GM for wildlife. Just get it, man. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just because you just because you bought the lens, you're just <laughs> getting people to spend their money to get you better by yourself. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, I think uh, I think that's it, right? So we, Alex so Boyce, new gear. I snagged the sixteen and thirty-five G Master. God, I hate all of you. <laughs> don't don't take any don't take any pictures and tag us in it. We'll we'll feel really. Okay, audio. Awesome. Okay. Dang it. I have no idea what's going on with uh, my mic today or maybe my USB. All right. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen again, at least for the main part of the show. Awesome. 
let's just get let's just get to it before my mic cuts out again. All right. All right. So, guys, um, here's 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 what could be happening that uh, me and Danny are hoping for. Actually, Danny's hoping for something else. But um, on Sony Alpha rumors, it's been rated SR five. SR five being the highest ranking. Um, what is it? Rumor new source. That means it's it's a, it's a pretty reliable and credible source. But as always, always take rumors for a grain of salt. So yeah. they're saying that the Sony A7 III will likely be announced on February 26. And on February 26 is when WPPI is happening. And what, one week or like just a few. Mike has gone off. I don't know if it's just me. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yo. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I can hear you. All right. Well, it ain't a potato podcast if something doesn't go wrong, right? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. Anyways, uh, where did I leave off? I think you're going to have to repeat some stuff. Uh, I don't know. Just really quick. Okay. All right. Anyways, uh, A7 III might be getting announced at WPPI or CP+, which are both happening next week. Um, the rumor specs for the A7 III is a 24-megapixel sensor, uh, mm-hmm. 7 frames per second, 425 contrast points, 167 phase detection points. We'll have a joystick. We'll be using the new FZ100 battery. It's going to have touchscreen. 4K, the use, 24, 25, 30, but no 60. 1080p with the use, 24, 30, and 60. And it might be $1,900, $1,890 US dollars. Nice. That's solid. I think the only thing that's going to really bug people is the missing dual card slots. <laughs> Danny, what do you think of these specs? I, I think they, I, I don't know. Again, this is, a, the rumors have never, uh, you know, there's the possibility of it being a different camera is, is also a possibility and some of the specs not being completely accurate. But it makes a lot of sense for WPPI to have an announcement or some sort of um, Sony product, whether it's a lens or body. And if it looks like an A7 III, seems like a really great middle ground. Um, they're so close to a really good setup. I just... I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of people like having a dual card slots. I, those of you who sh- uh, are shooting events and they want that reliability, but everything else looks good to me. I mean, 24 megapixels, the Z battery, the battery is a big one. And I'm just so done with the old school Sony batteries um, completely. The 4K recording is to be expected. Why don't they have like 1080p? Maybe they have like 720p at 120 frames per second on there. Who knows? I don't know. Um, touch screen again, it's obvious, those are all expected, so it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent camera. Um, when it comes around, I just don't, I'm not personally rushing out to go ahead and buy this camera though. So, I don't know, yeah. We want to open up this question to everyone in the chat. I mean, like, if you like, what would make you guys want to get the A7 III, especially those who are thinking about getting their first full frame, upgrading from the 6,000, 6,500, 6, 6, 6, or maybe considering getting this, this camera as a B cam, C cam for your uh, current A7 R3, A9, or A7S2, whatever it is. Let us know what would be some of the winning points that the A7 III must have for you to even consider picking it up. Yeah, even if so. it's not on this list, it might be a spec or something that's missing that you say, okay, it needs to yeah. have you know, um, the dual card slots or it needs to have this particular functionality, but it doesn't seem too bad. I, I think it's it's going to be a, a pretty decent camera, assuming it, it's actually real. Again, Jason, my, my expectation is I think it's going to be... I, I'm just throwing this out here because just as a joke, but I I, I think it's going to be Alpha 6700. <laughs> That's why I, I think it's going to be a Sony Alpha 6700, and these are the wrong specs. They were leaked uh, uh, in K, uh, to see who's leaking information, but the real specs is going to be an Alpha 6700. That's what it's going to be, man. 
calling it. So right we can now. we can assume that some new camera will get announced at WPPI or CP Plus or whatever it is. We just don't know what they're they're it's, saying. This is they're saying this this is a strong chance. The A seven three is a strong contender to be announced, but. Again, I don't. All and the thing is, the folks who want to see the A7S3, it's just, it's just not going to happen at this event. It doesn't no. seem to make the most sense. So yeah. whoever, NABD, whoever's wondering, whoever's wondering about the A7S3, it's likely going to get announced in April for NAB. So we'll get that out of the way first. But go ahead, Danny. Sorry for interrupting. Um, yeah, like I said, it could even be an Alpha Seventy Seven Mark Three. You know, the A mount <laughs> camera. A mount's not A -mount dead. Camera. It's not dead. Oh. It could be that. <laughs> Amount is having a comeback. Let, let's would it, would it let's be talk weird? About this yeah, go ahead, man. Would it, would it be weird? I mean, like just just an A mount camera. Would you say it's out of nowhere? There was the A ninety nine Mark II that came around. I think everyone was expecting like the A nine. I think at that time, I could be wrong. I I could have sworn there was a time frame where everyone's like expecting oh, this, man. this like camera, and it was the A ninety nine Mark II, and everyone felt let down. Um, it could be could be a 77 mark three um you never know but my question i guess as far as discussion point is where does this sit when you compare it to canon and also nikon like what well, would this camera would technically be on the same comp competition with 6d mark ii and then so. nikon nikon had the d750 did they did they, did they replace the d750 for the nikon folks i don't recall um unless we're still waiting on a nikon replacement so right now it's a 6d mark ii a7 III and then Nikon D750 or an updated Nikon D760. So I don't know, something like that. I think it's interesting. Okay. Well, Danny, you said you wouldn't be in a rush to get this camera if this if, if these were the specs. What would Sony have? Like the question is, what would Sony have to do? Give it 4K 60p. I don't think so. Then, I don't think it's gonna happen. Exactly. But see, if they did something weird like that, it'd be kind of like your eyebrow goes up. You're like, what? And then you start thinking like, okay, maybe it might be interesting. But I, like I said, that seems like an A7S three kind of prediction. But it's like a mm -hmm. unicorn right now. Who knows? Right. We, we think it's going to have it. We don't know. What if it's you have I to output know. it? So yeah, I just I just don't think 4K 60. Like for me, I don't have such I don't have a huge expectation for the A7 III. But I would consider picking up this camera and selling selling off my A7 R2 just because. Um, I don't really need two 42 megapixels cameras. Uh, I would like to ideally have two full frames, but um, I would I wouldn't mind getting this if um, it means Ooh. waiting for the A7S three, um, mm -hmm. just because um, I think the color on the A7 three will be pretty close to the A9 and the A7R three. And I don't know if you noticed this, Danny, but when um, I shoot videos with the A7R two and the R three. I noticed the colors on the R3 is just slightly better than the R2. Like the R2 has that greenish tint, which I don't really mm -hmm. notice on the R3. And when I did a test, um, not nothing scientific, just put them side by side, same picture profile, same white balance and everything. And I just noticed like the R3 looks a little warmer, has a little bit more red to it, for it whereas the R3, I'm sorry, the R2 has that greenish tint that I, kind of don't like so you know what if, that is a that's a really good observation yeah. man i really dig that because yeah. uh if you have an a7r2 are you willing to let it go and sell it for around the same price and pick up the a7r3 with all these newer features the better I battery know, is the big sure. one like hands oh, down yes. and then you get the yes. so for example let's say you got the a7r2 for shooting weddings or events the a7 III might not be a bad way to go um I, I don't know. Just looking at the specs, it's already better than the A7R, R, uh, the A7R2. Mm -hmm. There's nothing on here that's that stands out to me. Um, this is the joystick, me, the yeah, Z definitely. battery. Yeah. So um, no, I, mean, I, I don't. You know, I don't have. Mm -hmm. It's a good point. I think it's a really good point, and uh, I have an A7R2 that my brother uses, but maybe we'll see. I mean, I mean, as a stills camera, I mean, the A7R2 is still like it's it's good, it's great. Um, mm -hmm. Just for me, like for videos, like I kind of want to have that same color and that same, you know, if I'm setting the white balance, I want it to be pretty uniform across the camera. So that'd be like the biggest thing for me. Like it doesn't have to have the joystick, it doesn't have to have a dual SD card slot, but if it has that color, the the the, the battery, 
Um, that'd be a selling point for me. And if they throw in the S and Q button on the on the dial, like how the A7R three has it, that that'd be a winner for me too. Because I like to be able to access the slow motion with just like a switch of a dial, or at mm. least a button of some sort. Uh, okay. Whereas for um, the A7R two, I would have to like go through my menu and dig through. Um, wait, I don't have to do that, right? No, the A6500 doesn't have that on their mode dial, so I would have to dig through the menu for it or set it to one of the one of the modes. But I like to have a dedicated S and Q button. But that's for me. That's interesting. I never use S and Q, but it's it, it's. I think it's better if you use S and Q to shoot slow motion. At least to me, the quality looks the quality playback looks a lot better than if you were to shoot 60p. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, let's see what the chat has to say. We got a lot of comments going on right now, and we'll definitely use some of these comments as jumping point. Okay. So, YC Imaging asks, is the A7 series a full frame? Yes, I believe all A7 series cameras are full frame cameras. A6000, A6500, those are all APS-C. Chris Cheek says A7R3 is still king. I, I, I think it might be the A9. <laughs> <laughs> no a7 r3 man I, I think in terms of like hybrid, hybrid oh yeah camera absolutely. a7 r3 a7 absolutely a9 is a photography sports camera oh that wins by a mile yeah if you ever see like those charts when you're uh, in like video games they kind of show you where your strengths are at as a camera the a7 r3 is the most well-balanced camera of everything like it, <laughs> it's really there but the a9 is like disproportionately like all the way out in one area um but yeah a7 r3 but but you I'm know nice. we're not saying the a9 is a terrible video camera it's it's far from it it's just to certain to, to, to certain shooters like they got to have that picture profile you know but if you don't rely on picture profiles the a9 is still a phenomenal video camera yeah um simple guys text says it sounds audio's out oh okay audio's um, back Okay, all right. Uh, sorry about that. Simple Guys Tech Talk says it sounds like an overpriced sixty five hundred. It is a full. That sounds like the. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, uh, Jonathan says it would need to have four K sixty P. Um, it's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, I don't think I'll have 60. But like you said, I mean, like if it has it, that definitely would turn some heads to grab that. Yeah. I'd be pretty, I'd be pretty bummed that they gave that as 4K60, but not the A7R3. See, but they do that sometimes. You just scratch your head. So that's why I'm not like, they're going to, I feel like they have to throw something, some little thing that just kind of bothers you. That's just yeah. my gut feeling right now. All right, Tag the Shooter says uh, he has an A9 and an A7R3. Uh, no desire to buy this camera. He says the next camera will be the RX Zero Mark II with 4K and stabilization. I agree on that one, okay? Damon Hart says, I just needed 6,500 with the new battery. I don't know, Danny. I mean, like, you know, we were talking earlier, 6,700 with the new battery. I just I just don't think, I think they're just going to keep the same FW50 batteries for, for the APSC line. If they don't, they should make a new battery. But I would hate that. That's all I would say. I think... I think if they did, but I mean, they've made their camera bodies a little bit bigger and they were okay with that. So if they made the 67 series, that series make it slightly bigger to accommodate it. I'm, I'd be all for it. Yeah. If, if they can, I mean, if they have to upgrade, make a bigger, like, like a different battery, I, I say if it improves the battery life. I don't mind. I mean, like I am like when I started using the, the new FZ 100 batteries, I'm so happy with the battery life on my A7R3. Like I never had to charge a single battery on a wedding day versus I got like 10 batteries lying around on a wedding day. So yeah. if it means using a new battery for the 60, the 6,000 series cameras, fine. But if they can do what the GH5, what Panasonic did, like get, use the same battery, but increase the, what the, the capacity of it, would that be the right Just, terminology to increase the battery life? Yeah. That'd be that'd be that'd be great too if they can find a way to squeeze in more juice on the FW50 batteries. That current battery is just trash. I I I've never had a lot of confidence in it. Um, 
So yeah, it didn't it didn't bother me until I started using the A7R3. Like <laughs> I would have to constantly walk around during the ceremony, double check all the batteries yeah. of the of my cameras, other than the R3. The R3, I know it's fine. I just like leave it mm -hmm. out there, never have to worry about it. But yeah, battery man. All right, Steve. Uh, my promise to myself of no 4K 60p, no buy has saved me so much gas. Steve, that's some good stuff. <laughs> you know, I said I said that about the R3, but I st I still got it, and you know what? I was I'm very happy with it though. Super yeah. happy with the R3. Good. Let's see here. Pat Adolfo. Just give me a joystick like the A9 and A7R3, and I'd be down. But I want that on all Sony cameras from now on. We shall see. I mean, do you think they will though? I'm okay if they don't. If they don't have it, but it needs to have it. That's all I'm saying. If they increase the size yeah. of the battery, if they increase the, the the grip size and the battery, and they took out the joystick, then that would that would be pretty awkward. I mean, like they have the space <laughs> for it. Chris it'd be, Barr, equivalent, it'd be equivalent to Jason. DJI making making the remotes for their for their Spark and the and the Mavic Air. It's literally the same remote, the same mode, mm -hmm. but just you can tell something is missing on the remote. That'd be weird. <laughs> nah, just keep it consistent with the bodies, man. At this point, that's what I would do. Yeah. What does Chris Barr know? Because I know he called that RX10 Mark IV last time. So Chris Barr, let us know. All right. <laughs> Chris Barr <laughs> has a friend of a friend whose wife, who's friend of a cousin, who's got some really credible source. <laughs> Chris Barr coming in with that SR10. SR10. Alex right. Sandoval says Sony A9 Mark II. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, is that why the that price is, is dropping? If, if, that, if oh. that's the reason why the price is dropping for the Sony A9, Ah, it stings, but it is a what it is. A9 Mark II picture profiles. <laughs> that would be so bad. Sony Sony or, A9S. There you go. Sony. With, with oh, wow. Wow. With the picture profile. Jason, Jason's calling it right now. It's an A9 series yes. camera that's coming out. <laughs> I'm not calling it. What if it's like a so Sony A9R? I'm just... I'm just Piggyback hey, his comment. What if it's the Sony A9R? It's 50 megapixels, seven frames per second. It has all these other features. Oh no. No, that's stupid. No, no, no. It would have to be even crazier. It'd have to have the same, it'd have to have like 20 frames per second. Yes. Yeah, never mind. That was stupid. Stupid. It has, to, it has right. to keep up with that trend. But hey, I mean, like, if it's like an A9 series, I mean it is a wedding, wedding portrait convention. A9 Mark II. Or they just heavily discount the A9. That'd be great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's... I don't think that would hey. happen. Let's see here. Um, YC Imaging says, not for everyone, um, but for full frame with solid photos and decent video for that rate, that's solid, man. And I... And I Totally agree. Lion the Lion says, I'm willing to sell my A7R2 for the A7R, uh, the A7 III. The file sizes of the A7R2 have been a pain to work with for event work. So there's another person yes. that has the same kind of mindset. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad call. I mean, I, I don't really have too much issues with the file sizes, but just, just the lag for events, I think. Jai Pandy says, make them release the S3 and I'll replace my S2. April, man. April, when we might see it. Oh, Jeffrey says, articulating screen in a bigger body. What if it has a fully articulating screen for this model? I, wow. I, nope. Jason, I, I think I'm that's it. it now. Not Jeffrey, Jeffrey, I think you called it. I think this is going to be the one thing that's going to make people scratch their heads and get mad that it's in this camera, but not in the A7R3. It has a fully articulating screen. I'm gonna call it right now. I think that's what it is. Fully I don't think articulating. So. They're not. Screen. They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. Fully. I'm calling it right now. Fully articulating screen. That's what it's gonna have. 
<laughs> hey, I it, it would make sense for this camera because it's that consumer level, and um, they're trying to get people into the camp with the uh, with this model, and I think it would fit. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just, it's gonna happen, man. <laughs> totally articulating. I'm I'm just putting my expectations down again. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I ask, what is CP Plus? CP Plus is uh, another camera show. It, it takes place in Japan, so it's a pretty big. It's also a pretty big camera show, and stuff gets announced during that time. Author CC says, uh, "Need to upgrade my backup camera from the A7 II. Autofocus sucks. Hope it's a lot better. Hate going from the R3 to the A7 II." Yep. Once you go back, you can't go backwards. It's just, it's, yeah. <laughs> we'll take a few more comments and then we're going to jump into the next topic really quickly and we'll start yeah. queuing up for Q&A. DXpert Dimmons says, I would buy the A7 III if it had the 30 limit record, the 30 minute recording limit removed, like how they have the GH5. Now, unfortunately, they don't allow that anymore because you can't get play memory zap on your newer Sony mirrorless cameras. So you're stuck shooting at the 29 minute and 59 second mark. Now you can always get the older cameras and they don't have those limits. You can, I think it still works. I think the, I think it might still work. Oh, you, you got, you gotta, gotta keep upgrading. Gotta get the best of the best, <laughs> but it doesn't record completely, you know? That's why I can't get rid I'm of my be a That's why I can't. I'm going to be a pessimist about it. That's, there's still going to be a 30 minute recording limit. Yeah, of course. Maybe the A7S3. Yeah. Who knows? A7S3. Oh. Crossed fingers. <laughs> um, let's see here. D says GH5 still sounds like the deal. Apparently, there's $400 off B&H right now. That's what I heard. Some pretty killer deal going on with the GH5. <laughs> Socrates Villa says, how much will the A7 III cost? Oh, rumor price is $1899 US dollars. And uh, I believe the A7 II without the discount, it's $1798. So we could expre uh, expect this to be a uh, sub $2,000 camera. Yeah, it's got to be in that price range uh, for this. Casper 7711024 says, Jason, just get the A9 and don't look back. There you go. There you okay. go. Oh, guys, we got to egg him on to get the A9. The, the price has dropped already, Jason. You can obviously um, get the A9. It could, it could drop a little <laughs> bit more. It could just, you know, be like $1,800. That'd be great. 1999. <laughs> 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 All right, cool, awesome. Okay, so should we move on to the next topic, Danny? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go on to the next thing. Okay, so we're gonna blaze through the couple of things really quickly, but um, start getting your Q and A questions and answers. Well, you got the questions, we got the answer. <laughs> sometimes, right, that's right. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. So queue them up. Hashtag Q and A, and we'll tackle those in about five minutes but the next topic that i definitely want to talk about is um on petapixel there's an article that says sony creates groundbreaking backlit cmos sensor with global shutter danny have you got a chance to read this article yourself i read it maybe like a like when it came out so it's not super fresh in my brain but from what i understand uh the technology is now gonna allow so they have like a i think it was like a one inch sensor or like a one megapixel sensor or something mm -hmm. like that. Am I right wrong on that? But uh, oh for God. those of you that don't know, a global shutter would resolve a lot of the rolling shutter issues because instead of uh, capturing the image, like as it scans down the line, it captures it every instant, right? So you don't get this whole rolling shutter deal um, with this. So I think it's great. It's just crazy to, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, they're only at one megapixel right now, I think not with the technology, but if Sony keeps innovating, you never know where it'll be at. So, I don't know. I think Jason. he did a way better job explaining what I would, I would, I would have completely butchered whatever, whatever it was. But I think, I mean, issue, it's a, it's the, a issue is, look, the issue is mm. there's never we, we've never been able to bridge the gap between CMOS and global shutter. You either have something with global shutter uh, or the CMOS sensor. It's never both 
uh, both together. And I remember Black Magic, I think with their fork, their uh, cinema camera, they had issues trying to get a global shutter, I think on their 4.6 K Ursa Mini Pro, I think. I, I don't recall, but they just completely got rid of the global shutter altogether, I think, because it was just causing too much problem. So it's not an easy thing to do and accomplish. Um, so CMOS sensor with global shutter is going to be interesting. And hey, if they can bridge that tech, I think they'll be uh, will be pretty cool. Um, I think I think they will. I mean, like the I mean, if, they, if this is a start to something, I mean, like what a couple years, maybe maybe a little bit more than that, we'll start seeing them in the cameras. Or in the phone cameras. I don't, I don't know, man. Phone camera. In five years, we'll probably see it on the Alpha 6950 or something. In five years, we won't even have regular cameras. We don't even know what they'll be. They won't even look like this. Can you this, imagine this, that? In so, five this... years. We... <laughs> Can we make a prediction right now, Jason, and come back to this video five years from right now? Um, five years. Where okay. we think. Is Sony is Sony mirrorless still gonna exist five years from now? The way you're thinking it like a physical camera body. I don't know. It's just crazy. I don't know. It's in a, five years. In five years, it's gonna be this Sony Xperia S. Because what I'm thinking low, is low, the phone, low light cell phone, low light cell phone cameras. They're going to invest. The tech's going to go into the phones. The phones are going to get so much better. They just, I don't think they'll be able to compete at the sports, the sports level, uh, and the creative as some creative aspects. But I think they're going to just get too damn good. And um, um, it's going to actual. It's gonna, you're going to say it's going to topple topple APS-C lines. Yeah, I just think camera sales are just going to tank completely by five years from now. I think it's all going to go to phones. Tech's all going to go in there. So that's my call. Anyway, that's way too much of a tangent. So. <laughs> all right so that's one and um uh, just really quickly last piece of news i think um is it out or is it coming out the zeiss loxia oh this just got announced the zeiss loxia 25 millimeter f 2.4 it is a manual focus lens for the sony e-mount mirrorless cameras um i don't know danny this is something that that piques your interest in any way the loxia lenses it, it hasn't really because of pricing and also the effective aperture i like lenses that can do both whether auto focusing and and obviously for manual focusing so it's not really my particular arena uh so i do a lot of moving subjects but it's it is interesting set of lenses i just don't i've never used them personally what i would like to know is for those of you that do have it how do you like the image quality um, sharpness wise, do you, do you like the set, uh, that they're producing? Is it worth it? Is it worth the price? So I don't know. I, I would rather just spend the money on getting a G master lens, you know, for example, that, that would cover that range, um, or just a really you know, good, I, good I lens. I think, I, I think for like, for me, I see this, if I were to use this, it'd be more of a video lens for me, light, light set of primes can carry around with you. I'm sure their focusing isn't God awful, like fly by, fly by wire focus on the, on the autofocus lenses. So if I were to, if I were to pick up some of these or get a chance to use them, it'd probably be mainly for video. Hmm. Is that focus breathing though? Would you want that? Uh, or do you want to get that big old chunky Sony lens? It's like 18 to 110 F4. Oh. That, that big <laughs> chunky lens, man. You should get that cinema lens right there. Oh no! Oh no! Someday my back is my back is hurting right now, and I and I carried <laughs> prime lenses yesterday. You just have to take one. All right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's jump into the chant. We'll read a few comments, oh, and then oh, we'll jump into the Q and A. Really quick before we jump in, and speaking of your back aching, I got hit by a softball uh, on Saturday, and. Um, so it's funny because last season, last spring, I got a, a baseball actually hit me. Like it actually hit me uh, while I was shooting and the umpire got mad because I was inside the dugout uh, on my team side, right? And then the, the umpire just told me to get out or leave or something. Uh, <laughs> but I got hit. I said, man, I'm going to get hit again uh, this season. And I was shooting softball. They were just practicing. One of the gates were open, so I went in front of, I was between that gate so I can shoot through the fence, uh, not have to shoot through the fence. And I was just concentrating. I had the, uh, I had the A7R3 around my neck like this with this lens. I think it was this lens. And then I had the the A9 and I had the 70 or 200 G Master and I was shooting. And I hear someone yell and warned me 
And this softball goes straight towards my chest and hits me like this, you know, like really just straight onto my chest. And I was like, it shocked me a little bit. And I was like, I was just, I was just really glad it didn't hit any like my cameras or anything. But I'm just like, I don't know, man. I think, yeah, I think that'd be the same first thought too. I get hit and then I'd be like, is the camera okay? <laughs> and then, and then let that, let that pain sink in and be like, oh, my chest. Yeah. It's not too bad. Um, I, I feel like I'm going to jinx myself. I think I'll get hit by an actual baseball that's going pretty fast. So Ouch. we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I think, wasn't there like a video that um, some, some Olympic sport, someone like hit, hit a camera guy or something? I think someone's skiing, right? I think that was posted on Petapixel or something like that. Um, it's never good. It's never good. No. <laughs> All right. Um, David Osler is in the house. David, what is going on? And What's up, um, David? Lion, Lion the Lion says, built-in ND filter. That'd be something that I kind of want on the A7S2, actually. Uh, sorry, the S3. Uh, Quav Quavia Fetty says, I feel like within the next two years, someone will have the balls to make the perfect camera. No, it's too I subjective. Think, I think like, who, depends on who, who's, who's looking at it, but I don't think there'll be a perfect camera. I mean, I, I would have considered the 1DX Mark II when it came out to be a really perfect camera, but it's a really bulky camera. And then the 4K was really, it's not very easily implemented and used. Um, so There's I don't know. It's going to always be something. Yeah, yeah. I, it's just. I think. I feel like by the time they make the perfect camera, there's something better around the horizon. Maybe it's 5K video, 6K video, and you're just like, oh, well, it's not yeah. a perfect camera anymore. So I don't know. They perfect. They probably perfected the 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 1080P. You know, it has it has 120 frames and everything. But yeah. again, like Danny's saying, there's going to be 4K, 6K, 8K. 10k there's always going to be something that tops the previous camera the so. thing is if the thought of 4k never existed the cameras would be amazing already i think everyone would be pretty happy oh yeah uh that's yeah i mean like if you're not shooting 4k with the a7s2 or whatever the battery life is going to be decent yeah awesome okay jeremiah padilla says arg should i switch now to sony yes definitely um, if you're, if you just make sure you calculate, make a spreadsheet and calculate the costs of what you need to do to switch over to Sony, just make sure you figure it out because it is expensive on that transition. So that's all I would say. Just make sure you know. Wow. Wow. Danny actually providing some logical advice. Hey man, you gotta do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we just like to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Kai Hoon Kim, difference between the A7 III and the A7R3 megapixels. That's the big one. And the dual, yeah. dual card slots based on the data we've been given, based on the rumors right now, okay? Dual card slots are missing and um, megapixels. There you go. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Chris Barr says, dude, Jason, I'm calling a new Sony action camera on top of the new 6000 Mark II. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. New Chris Bar has called it a six thousand Mark II with a with a with a flip screen. Oh, that fully that'd articulating, be the, fully articulating. Oh That's it. Chris Bar, Chris Bar's called it. Chris Bar, you know what? I I Chris Bar has been right in the past, so <laughs> that's, just that's put it down. That's our six room right there. Just put it down. That's right. uh, put on slots uh, on on roulette. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see here um chris Dye says uh what are your thoughts on the sigma 19 2.8 32.8 and 62.8 art lenses i don't think they're art lenses are they but um unfortunately i use all of the other sigma lenses other than the ones you have listed so i can't really comment on those yeah Let's see. Uh, YC imaging uh, rolling shutter is pretty much non-existent on the A7R3. Maybe in 1080p. I I've had rolling shutter with uh, at 4K with the A7R3. Um, might be 1080p. I guess. I guess to me it's not too noticeable. Um, but definitely when I jump back to the 6500 and like give it a little, oh, yeah, I, I 
I see it like it's massive. Yeah. But the A7R3 definitely, the rolling shutter is much improved. My my right. base I, impression I never noticed at all. My base impression was that the A9 was a little bit better than the A7R3, but that I I just need to do just need to use the cameras more. That's why, I, yeah. Okay, Damon Hart says doing my first photo shoot for engagement photos. I'm thinking about the 8518 or the 100 STF thoughts. Well, uh, I would say get the 8518. Um, the 100 STF is a fantastic lens, um, but even though it's advertised as a 2.8 lens, what you're really getting is like a 5.6. So the amount of light coming in is like equivalent to 5.6, but you're getting that 2.8 blur. So you're going to need a lot of light if you're using the 100 STF, but I think you'll be still pretty happy with the 85 1.8. So that'd be my pick. Yeah, I agree. Sounds good. <laughs> um see here leah's fat cat patty i was deciding to stay and upgrade my canon or go with sony but after watching one of your videos i bought the a7r3 is there a way to open the raw files in photoshop love your channel have you updated is the photoshop and lightroom updated on the uh on, on your adobe are they still Definitely. able to get ca can you download camera raw off the photoshop uh, adobe website if you have an older version of Photoshop, I think you should be able to open it. So just go online, yeah. type in download camera raw and download the latest one. Yeah, just yeah. make sure everything is up to date. You should be able to open the raw. I think I was helping someone on my Instagram um, DM and yeah, it, it turns out that he never updated it. So that's why, but definitely double check on that. <laughs> Damon Hart says, in five years, Sony released a camera with an articulating screen. <laughs> uh, nice. Nice. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, Alex Sandova says, what do you guys think of Canon's patents where they're going to put fingerprint sensors on their cameras? If it gets stolen, they can't use it. Interesting. And if you resell it, you can't use it either. Does that work that way? I well, don't I'm know. sure that's interesting. I'm, I'm sure it's like cell phones. Like once you do the factory reset, you can input a new fingerprint. But who knows? Who knows? Might be trying to combat that gray market stuff. You know? Who knows? You know. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Chris Dye says QA Godox eighty two hundred flash point of off two hundred. How would it work for outdoor daylight, night, or inside for lighting portraits? So, um, I think if you're shooting outdoors, um, Francisco Joel Hernandez, a good buddy of ours, have recommended picking up the twin head and using two eighty two hundreds. That will be definitely super helpful outdoors during daylight. But if you're shooting it closer to sunset, it should be powerful enough. And uh, yeah, it's good for night and inside i believe it uh, ridiculous manas asking fuji film or sony well we're kind of sony focused here so i'm gonna say sony <laughs> in this case what's, uh, what's a fuji <laughs> let's see here um which will be released for CineShades, A7 III or S3? Again, we said um, the A7 III will likely get announced, rumors. Um, but A7 S3 will probably be announced in April, NAB. It's just our best guess. Yeah. Dave Sincere says, I did my taxes this year, and I spent thousands of dollars on gear last year. <laughs> yeah, I need to file my taxes, too. Ariel Bronco, how about the A7 III ISO, ISO compared to the A9? Uh, we really don't know yet, but they're both 24 megapixel sensors potentially. Again, rumor here. So maybe similar performance. Yeah. Just a thought. Hopefully similar. Yeah. Let's see here. YC Imaging says, I want to know about NAB. I've never been before. And I want to know if you guys have any suggestions on what package your purchase. So NAV, for those of you guys who don't know, is like a convention for video cameras and broadcasting. It takes place in Vegas. Um, usually, I just get the very standard pass for like every single convention that I go to. I don't uh, pick up classes. But yeah, I usually go for free. 
it's it's a free convention if you sign up early. There you go. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, Nathan says, Jason, A7 II, better low light along with less megapixels. Thoughts? I'm, they're saving the, the low light stuff for the A7S III. Damon Hart, what's the best website to rent gear from? Damon, I've only rented from Lens Rental, so I've been fairly, pretty much, pretty happy with them. Uh, I Asperity's asking, what settings do you have on your function option when you press it on your A7R3? Oh, I gotta get my A7R3. Let's see here. Uh, can I, can you guys see that? Is it too bright? Yeah, it's probably too bright. Uh, let me just. I don't know. It's it backwards or something, but that's what I have on mine on my A7 R3 when you press function. It's, it's kind okay. of blurry. Ah, damn it, potato quality. Whatever. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll just I'll just read off mine really quickly. Um starting from the first row, drive mode, white balance, focus mode, focus area, audio record level, picture profile. Next row, uh, S and Q frame rate, uh, zebra level, peaking. Uh, why do I have creative style here? I should take that out. Um, priority record media and marker display. Actually, wow. You made me realize I have two, two things here that I need to take out later. Thanks for that. All right, we're gonna tackle Two more questions, and we'll call it a night, guys. Um, okay. Let's see here. Alex Sandoval says, what lenses of yours are just collecting dust or don't use very much a lot? Everything. That's a good uh, question. There's a, there's a lot. Um, you know, what ended up happening, it's sort of that mentality where, because we do the YouTube stuff, you try to purchase something with the expectation that you're going to use it. And so... I don't end up using a lot of the, the equipment that I have. It's kind of a shame. So uh, later on, there'll probably be a spring cleaning kind of scenario later on the line. But um, yeah, that's it's sad. Yeah. Let's see here. Rodell says Q&A, video, slow motion in camera, S and Q, or slow motion in post? I've been doing a lot of slow motion in camera just because um, I, I was watching one of Philip Bloom's video, and he said... What he found out was if you shoot an S and Q, um, the frame playback on the camera is a lot better. I, I guess there's like more bit rate in each frame when you shoot an S and Q mode versus if you actually shoot in 60p, which is the regular video mode that records the audio. So I've been doing that and um, yeah, the image looks great. I love it. That's why I've been shooting a lot in S and Q mode recently with the A7R 3 as well as touching on the A6500. That is why I kind of want that button on the uh, a7 III and the future Sony cameras. <laughs> Riddell photo, as far as for me, um, I just do it post. I don't do it internally. Cool. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this Monday live. Um, sorry for my mic. Don't know what's been happening with it. Hopefully it won't happen next week. But uh, next week, it's going to be on Danny's channel. And we're going to be... be and in Vegas for WPPI. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, I think, okay, so February 26th is Monday, right? Let's make sure. Is it? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So if something gets announced, we'll have a lot to talk about for the next Monday yeah. live show. We'll just if take the item. Gets... We'll just grab the camera from the booth and we will just do the show at the booth if we have to. That's what we will do. Oh, is that what we're gonna do? Is that I, I don't think we're gonna have a really good connection at the on the show floor. Oh, so I'm sure we'll find a way, man. We'll just do it right at the booth if they won't let us take the equipment. <laughs> so expect mega potato quality if we go live at the convention. But yes, we will go live, and uh, we'll talk about whatever gets released. If nothing gets announced, then well, we'll we'll try to entertain <laughs> you guys as much as possible. We'll probably live live stream us gambling and losing a lot of money or something, but. Yeah. Do they let you do that? Is that is that a thing? No, that's <laughs> illegal. 
Uh, yeah, I, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be holding a camera up. It's all pixelated. Like, what is that? What are you, what are you holding there? <laughs> hey, guys, it's the, it's the new camera. It's like complete. It looks censored. It's like, but it's not because it's just <laughs> how crappy the stream is. Um, but yeah, stay tuned to the Instagram stories and whatnot. And we'll definitely have something posted there. And uh, yeah, Danny, is there anything else you like to? Um... Oh, yeah. Chris Dye is saying, should we do a live show with an audience at WPPI? I it just depends if there's that many people that would want to see us do a live show. <laughs> depends um, what's what. <laughs> we'll invite everyone back know. to the hotel room. <laughs> come, come by Circus Circus. Let's just let's just all. I don't know. Stand in front of the clown and do a live show. <laughs> awesome. All right, man. Uh, as far as things, um, I'll be shooting some sports with the new lens that I picked up, and hopefully, I can get some sort of uh, sort of video put out soon. Danny, are you bringing the hundred to four hundred to Vegas? Uh, don't don't know, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, landscape photos at four hundred millimeters. Let's do it. That is true. That'd be interesting. All right, guys. Thanks so much again. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. See you guys later.